Ik wil nog naar iemand, dames en heren, met een zeer bijzonder verhaal die hier aan tafel zit. U heeft hem al gezien en gehoord. En u moet eens kijken naar wat hij allemaal maakt. Het is intussen in heel de wereld opgepikt. Dit bijvoorbeeld zat vorige week op CNN. I wanted to, uh, to take away their power, not to serve me and my pain, but to give them back their humanity and to, and to the audience an insight on, on what the power of vulnerability can achieve. Abdallah, CNN, Al Jazeera, BuzzFeed. How does it feel yeah. to be world news all of a sudden? It feels a bit dizzy, actually. <laughs> a bit dizzy. I feel a bit like you know this happy dizziness. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, it's it, it's also a lot of satisfaction, like self reassuring. I can, I, I can imagine. That I did how the come, right thing. How come they've uh, <laughs> they've picked it? Because you've made these one like uh, more than a year ago. I started on the project already three year, almost three years, three years ago. since I stepped into Brussels, actually. Okay. Yeah, that was exactly the, the moment. You started doing it when you came here. Exactly. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah. As a refugee, you mm -hmm. came to Belgium three years ago. Yeah, I did both, like being a refugee and, and the painter. Yeah. <laughs> and how come they've picked it up now then? So uh, it was, uh, it's shown now in Dubai in a gallery called Ayam Gallery in Dubai, one of the top galleries actually in the Middle East. and. Uh, That's where it started, basically, with the with the gallery, and then, yeah, the the media was interested to to sh to talk about this It project, which was first uh, AG Plus Al Jazeera, and have you sold sold anything yet? Uh, <laughs> Quite a little, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot of things. Quite some, yeah. Let's let's take a look Should at we some. Talk of about this also. Yeah, <laughs> yes, later I'll ask you how much you yeah. got for it. Okay. Uh, let's, <laughs> Let's take another look okay. first, because it's um, it's quite remarkable. This is yeah. uh, Donald Trump mm -hmm. as a refugee, of course. Yeah. We also have uh, Barack Obama, mm -hmm. President Assad, mm -hmm. Vladimir Putin, and nice one, this last one, Angela Merkel, all mm -hmm. as refugees. Yes, all these big names. Yeah. What was what was your idea behind it to, to start mm -hmm. drawing these? So basically, my like my first. Uh, trigger that made me think of this project was was me being uh, like that's how it started me being uh, displaced as my personal experience as a, as an exiled person since I left Syria five years ago so I had this desire this aim after seeing that how much dysfunctional is the political situation and and the, the all the the world politics supposedly trying to solve the situation in Syria or anywhere else, uh, you know, all the the, cr the crises around the world. Mm -hmm. And it's not really, it's quite dysfunctional for the last five years. So, it, it, you know, you, you, there was some kind of anger that was growing in, inside of me as, and, and I wanted to see this, this political figure, it was my personal desire to see them as an image in a, in the shoes of of the people of, of refugees of uh, vulnerable people to see them in a, in their vulnerable state because they always look so perfect so divine so you know so uh, that made them say, vulnerable for you different, yeah. different people yeah yeah I, it definitely made them absolutely different people i was but uh, how how difficult is that you do that with with president assad eh? and i can imagine yeah. that he was the reason that you had to leave He's damascus because that's where yeah. that's where you were living and yeah, you, you make a picture out of him and mm -hmm. so that makes him more human? Uh, well, it made my my version of Assad more human. So it made the painting, the, the character in the painting more human, definitely. For me, as as I've been seeing him and all the other characters, I was working in my in my studio, in my house, the same like the same place. So I, I, I had them around my my living room, my bedroom, Every day I was waking up with them and on my walls, and there was a moment I had this strange feeling of, of empathy towards them after seeing them for so long in this vulnerable state, looking at you, having an eye contact in f with you all the time, 
telling that we are vulnerable, we are weak. Even then, I had this feeling that, wow, I, I could even empathize with, with, you changed, with the, the, you the, the them. people, you know, kind of. So, so that's what, yeah, I changed them. I changed them, yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. So that was, uh, yeah, exactly. How were the reactions? The reactions of, well, quite, uh, mm -hmm. quite interesting. Different, different directions, different reactions. I want to show the world. two more paintings. Yes, please. Because um, those was the pepper. This is like they're all waiting for food, and Thank there's you. Barack Obama and David Cameron. Uh huh. Yes. There's another Cameron one. Is there. And Putin and Assad again. And what is this? Yeah, this is actually a painting that I that was an appropriation of of a photo when that went viral uh, online two years ago. And the photo actually comes from uh, from a neighborhood in Damascus that's called Yarmouk, which was my original neighborhood. I lived in that place for 20, 20 years, my first 20 years. And this neighborhood was for almost two years, 20 months was besieged. Uh, they didn't, people that left, that were left there, which were only 220,000 people that okay. didn't have any other choice but to stay. They didn't have food, they didn't, a lot, quite a number of them died because of hunger. So that was the moment when, in the painting, what you see, the moment when, uh, like, kind of an, a UN aid uh, arrived to the to the to the neighborhood, and that was the cue. People went out. And also Angela in, Merkel in this and apocalyptic uh, Vladimir situation, Putin again. You know? Yeah, it's it's extremely apocalyptic. Mm -hmm. You see it. And I wanted to see these so political it's... figures in this uh -huh. situation. Misschien, misschien moeten we gewoon uh, eens een opdracht geven uh, en onze <laughs> Brusselse politici als daklozen bijvoorbeeld <laughs> ja. uh, uitbeelden. Het contrast tussen de, de, de macht van de politicus en dan de situatie waarin hij terechtkomt zou misschien een klein beetje kunnen helpen. Ja, uh, yeah, wel, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Please do that. <laughs> What a good idea. Tomorrow, do you have the feeling? Because it's it's a personal story, and and you've tried to change something. Because mm -hmm. tomorrow is um, is World Refugee Day. Mm -hmm. yeah. We know that 65 million people are running mm -hmm. at the moment uh, the world, all over yeah. the world. Uh, do you have the idea that this might make a difference? What you're doing now? Uh, you know, like they say. Uh, they say something about art that art has the kind of soft power. It's like, it is, I, I wouldn't claim that art would change the world, what we do, but, but it has, if we, it's about insisting, it's about being persistent and, and, and also being involved in the, in the, on a basic level in, with the, pub, the public, you know, art is not, I don't think it should be always elite. It should be like peop should, people should be. Our art should be brought back to people. Mm -hmm. Is that in what you're doing? In how, how exactly. Life, how is exactly. life in, in Brussels? Because you live in the it's in the very center of Brussels, yeah, huh? three years quite now. Quite vibrant. How's life? Quite, quite vibrant. vibrant. <laughs> Enjoying yeah, it. Brussels, beautiful. Yeah, I always say Brussels is the best mistake that Europe has ever made. <laughs> <laughs> like very spontaneously, 50 years ago, immigration and all this cosmopolitan situation that you are in the whole world in a very small geography yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful people it's accept it you know you don't yeah it's it's better than paris because you went to paris exactly. first eh? and then yeah. i said i don't want to be here because people were not were not so friendly i wouldn't i wouldn't also generalize you know it's it's uh, it's not that people in paris are not friendly or people in brussels are more friendly but uh, well my personal uh, my personal experience was Maybe, maybe it's not always this, but my personal experience told me that I think I should go to Brussels, not to Paris. Binnen drie weken, in three weeks, you're going to go to Hamburg? Uh, in actually, in, in the end of June, in two weeks. End of June, you're going a bit earlier, before yeah. the top, because it's uh, beginning of July, in two weeks then? Yeah. Uh, G20, are, are you going to meet those guys that you've made uh, painting of? Well, uh, with pleasure, yeah. <laughs> if they would, if they would come to actually the the gallery uh, that is the exhibition is made uh, that, that the organizing the exhibition already sent kind of invitations to the political or to the representatives of these political leaders. So if not, they come. They will at least uh, they will be yes. informed. 
about about the exhibition. But, but, but you have been. It sorry? must do something to them. I don't think that what you do is soft power. It's it's kick ass. Uh, yeah. I think <laughs> it it goes deeper than when you just shout and do an aggressive move. I think this is more subtle, but yeah, it will work. Subtle, subtle. Yeah, I think it's a big it's, invitation. Eh? Yeah. Hamburg, it is a big invitation for you, I can imagine. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, it's such a, an actual it's it's such a good coincidence to be in Hamburg at that time when when the the big leaders that are responsible a lot on on, on the whole political situation on earth are coming in one in one city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's good. Good. yeah. Well, <laughs> so who said? Yeah. Will, will you let us? It's know? already sold out. Sorry for that. <laughs> 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 I thought, just wanted to ask: Will you yeah. let us know if you've spoken to Donald Trump and he bought maybe? I will definitely let you know. I'm, I'm waiting for him to tweet something, actually. Because <laughs> he likes to tweet more, he likes to be public. That's quite publicity, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Let's see. Okay. Maybe he will. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm, I'm pleased to be here. Thank you. Thank you.